Good morning, everybody. It's five o'clock in Sydney. It's morning. It's a bit chilled outside, but I'm here to prepare and create a new touch designer tutorial of this really cool effect where you can use your web camera. Uh, you don't need any external devices, but you'll be able to produce such a classy effect and you can actually do a lot of stuff. And, and you can also produce this colorful output. This is completely a good solution when you want to create some interactive artwork or uh, set up for any exhibition. But yeah, it's very simple. And then there is this third effect that you can try. Uh, in this tutorial, we would also see how to create this um, mesh type of artwork. It's pretty creative, pretty um, impressive actually in a way if you look at it. Um, and yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot you could do uh, with this part. All right, let's get going. First thing first, let's clear the canvas and let's get video device in. So once this is there, I'm going to change the signal format from 10 hertz to 30 hertz. So we basically get good signal from the web camera. Now let's get edge. So we have edge coming in. Uh, we're not going to make any changes to this for now. Oh, let's have a resolution actually and let's reduce the resolution by half okay and then let's convert that into a trace now one thing that you would see is trace is turning out to be very choppy oh which is completely fine now we can remove this we can remove this so it is going to occupy less cpu resources let's go to filter uh, we remain or we keep everything as it is just increase the step size from 10 to 20 Okay, and once that is done, let's go to null and then let's enable a geometry Let's get camera. Let's get material as constant Done and then we go ahead with Render network, so render null. That's cool. And as you can see, like the um, we just have to adjust the camera. So currently it's sitting at five. Maybe we can go with three. Um, we can even actually go to one. Um, okay, yeah, let's go a little higher. Yep. So this looks better. Done. and you apply the edge on top of it. So um, this is where um, a sketchy output starts coming in. And um, so this is definitely one effect that we wanted to produce. Okay, now the other thing is we want to, we want to give colors to it. So how do we go about it? Let's go and um, get our output from here. So we are using composite. Let's multiply the output with what we have. We go as null for now. So this is another output that we have produced. Now the other thing that you could do is the output looks a little bit dull, but you could just go and use level to increase the brightness. So we go and increase the brightness. We increase the gamma and contrast as well. And that's it. The output is ready. So you can see how easy it can be created. But then there is bonus effect that I can give it to you. Um, there is a simple change that you have to make in order to create that particular effect. So um, we know that we have used constant as a material. Go to wireframe, enable GPU tesselled wireframe. And of course, now you can see a variations coming around. Now you have a um, lot, lot of good uh, texture coming in. And um, there's a pretty good, uh, pretty good setup actually. And uh, yeah, you can try and experiment uh, with that stuff. It's pretty cool actually. Um, there's a lot that you could do with this. Um, the other thing that you definitely have in your way is you can increase line width. So by increasing line width, you will be able to create very strong lines. Um, and again, it depends based on the taste and based on the thought processes that you have in your mind. But yeah, this is definitely something can be done. So um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, it's very simple, but yet very effective. Uh, you can do that.